Hey guys, and welcome back to another video from Propulsion Swimming. I'm Scott, and this week I'm going to take you through some press-up variations you can do to help improve your swimming. Press-ups are an exercise that everyone knows, and they should be utilised by swimmers as there's many benefits to be had, such as increasing your strength and core stability. Press-ups are mostly known for targeting your pectoral muscles. However, in this video, the variations we're going to give you are going to be aimed at targeting other muscles as well as your chest. As usual, we'll save the hardest one till last, so make sure you keep watching till the end. Variation number one is one I'm sure you've all tried at home, maybe without even realizing, a wide press up. It's extremely similar to a standard or conventional press up, the only difference being your hand placement is slightly wider. The standard way to perform a press up is to have your hands directly under your shoulders. On this exercise, your hands are positioned outside of your shoulder line. The aim is to lower your body towards the floor and just as your nose is about to touch the floor, accelerate yourself back up. This variation predominantly works your chest, but also your shoulders and upper arms, all of which is vital when it comes to swimming. This was the easiest variation I'm going to give you. From here on in, it gets much tougher. The next variation is the opposite to the previous one in terms of hand positions, and it's called the triangle or diamond press up. That's because your hands are gonna be underneath your chest in a triangle or diamond position with your fingers and thumbs touching. This exercise, like the previous one, targets your pecs. However, this time much more tricep activation is required. When performing this variation, the aim is to keep your elbows as tucked in as possible and always keep your core engaged. As your hands are closer together, they form a small base of support. This means your balance is also going to be tested, making your core work a lot harder and especially your obliques. And your obliques are really important when it comes to swimming because they're used a lot in freestyle and backstroke. third variation, if you haven't performed it before, is going to feel slightly strange. It's the Spider-Man press-up. The Spider-Man press-up works the same muscles as the previous ones. However, it now adds coordination and hip mobility into the mix. To do it, perform the same movement as a regular press-up, but as you lower yourself to the floor, bring one leg towards your hand, keeping your foot off the floor. As you push yourself back, return your leg to the starting position. You then alternate each leg with every press up you do. Keeping your foot off the floor when you're mid press up activates your hip flexors, engages hip mobility and requires a great deal of coordination, all of which are much needed when you're swimming. The next variation is a decline press up. This is an advanced press up that needs your feet to be higher than the rest of your body. Your feet can be on a chair, a wall or anything that raises them off the ground. As you can see in our video, we used a tree trunk. The difference between this variation of press up and a standard one is that this targets your upper chest muscles and your shoulders a lot more than you normally would. Additionally, this requires strong core stability, including your abs and back, to be able to maintain a strong body position throughout. These are all key muscles needed for a strong arm pull in swimming, so we suggest doing this exercise regularly to increase overall upper body strength. 
Of course, as I mentioned before, I've saved the hardest variation till last. And you guessed it, it's a clap press up. This is an explosive exercise and can help activate fast twitch muscle fibers in your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Sprint swimmers will benefit the most from this exercise, but that doesn't mean other distant swimmers should disregard it. Having good fast twitch muscle fibers help build strength, power, and muscle mass. This variation can be quite harsh on your wrists because of the heavy landing between each rep. Please take care when doing it. If necessary, you can wear wrist supports to help protect your wrists even better. If you're feeling brave and you want to make this harder, you can. Why not try bringing your feet off the ground as well as your hands? You have to be extremely powerful in order to do this one, so well done if you can at home. With all of the press-up exercises, keep your body in a solid, straight line throughout the whole exercise to help avoid any back injuries that might occur. The aim is to try and do 20 to 30 reps on each exercise before taking a minute's rest. However, if you can do more than 20 to 30 reps, great. Go ahead, there's gonna be no harm in doing that. It's only gonna build your upper body strength quicker. Thanks for watching this video from Propulsion Swimming. I've been Scott. Please share this video with others, comment below if you have any problems and of course subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming channel for more weekly swimming based tutorials. For now, good luck with all those exercises at home and I will see you on the next one.